How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Airport CEO and welcome back to Belfast City Airport. Things are going pretty well at the moment, aside from the fact that we keep loading dangerous things onto our planes. So we kind of need to do something about that. We need to start looking at security for our baggage handling. So it's a good thing, I guess, that the guide, the introduction, currently wants us to build a generic conveyor belt scanner. So that's 100% what we're going to do. We are going to have to make some changes over here to our baggage handling just a little bit. But before we do that, we do have a tilt tray. We do have security tier one. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's get security tier two on the go so that we can start looking into that properly. Let's also have a bit of a look at belt loaders. This will unlock the belt loader, which provides a faster way to load medium aircraft. That seems like a good idea as well, since that's to do with baggage handling as well. And while that's all going on, we can go ahead and just improve things a little bit for the conveyor belts. So we are going to need the scanner. And this thing is basically going to live, I suppose, right about here is is roughly where it's going to live. That seems like a like a decent little spot for it. It could be in a better spot, but for now, it'll live right about there. And what we can do is put the baggage destroyer, I guess, right about here is is where it can go. So we'll do the baggage destroyer there. We'll go ahead and get ourselves a conveyor belt between the two. This runs over to here. We need to bulldoze you and we need to go underground and we need to bulldoze, I want to say to there. And then what we can do, I mean, this is going to mess up my baggage a little bit, but what we can do very simply is go ahead and put an escalator up right about there as soon as all of this is gone, which really shouldn't take too long. We have got all the guys over here doing it now. So that goes there, which is going to give us a way into here. We can go ahead and do the conveyor belt right here. And that'll be a basic little bit of security for all of my planes. That'll be a way to scan a couple of things and just make sure that we're not loading dangerous bags onto the aircraft. And then as soon as we get security tier two, and I think there is security tier three, we can go a little bit further with it and do better things as well. Now, while we're waiting for that to be built, let's just head over this way. And here's what I want to do. I want to bulldoze this. And the reason I want to bulldoze that is because I want to get a tilt tray. And what the tilt tray does, you might remember from previous series, is it will basically let you tilt baggage that way or continue with it straight on this way. And the reason I want to do that is because we have that second arrivals space. So we can bring this over. We can bring this sort of up to here. We can go ahead and rotate around, bring it over this way. And then we want to bring it sort of down to about here. Bring it over, bring it up. And that right there, once that's good to go, is going to give us a second space for baggage handling. So let's go ahead and connect it out to the baggage bay right there. And so that way we don't have all of the passengers going to a single arrivals or baggage claim space. That way they're going to be spread out a little bit more. Things might be a little bit easier for them, might be a little bit more pleasant for them. At least that's the goal anyway. It's going to take a second for all of this to get built, but that is at the very least the goal. I'm also kind of hoping we can get this going a little bit quicker. There we go. So we got some bags going through. We have a couple going to the cargo annihilator as well. But that should, for the most part, hopefully help us out. That's that's the goal anyway. I'm also going to have to remember what the best way to set up uh, baggage security happens to be, because I don't for the life of me remember. And I know it was something we went back and forth on a lot in previous series on this game. I really don't remember it at all. But I think what we can do is you can have sort of the one scanner and if everything's fine there, you can send it on through. If nothing's, if something's not okay, you send it to tier two. Tier two scans it and if tier two is okay, it goes out to departure. And if nothing's okay in tier three, you send it, or tier two, you send it to tier three. So I, I think that's what's going on. Anyway, we're almost done. There's just one more thing to learn. Remote stands. To maximize space utilization of your airport, stands that aren't connected to a terminal can be built. Remote stands operate exactly the same as stands attached to a terminal, but will require a few additional steps to function. Remote stands can be placed anywhere on the airport's land, but remember that transferring passengers to and from the stand will take additional time. So we need an airside shuttle bus stop and make sure passengers can access it from the terminal. Now this, this is okay. I'm, I'm willing to give this a shot. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go and say that this is now going to be a commercial 
stand. And this is also going to be a commercial stand. Let's go ahead and dismiss the aircraft from that stand so I can switch it over to commercial as soon as the plane goes. There we go. So this is now this is now commercial and that's all right. And then what I want to do is figure out a way. So can I connect you to multiple stands? I can connect you to an airside shuttle bus stop, but I, I think I have to have multiple stands to do this the way I would want to do this. So my question becomes, would it be worthwhile me? Hmm. Oh, I might have an idea. I might have an idea here. Hold on. Would it be worthwhile going and moving the air traffic control tower? So this medium air traffic control tower, we can sort of put it into into this space down here. And I want to do that because my thinking is that I can then go and get airside shuttle bus stops in here and I can get four of them in there. And then I can do a bunch of those, uh, what do you call them? The self boarding gates. I can do a bunch of those in here. And I think that'll be really good for us. So that's that's kind of my idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's what I'm it's what I'm going to try and do. So we'll get this thing built, hopefully nice and quickly. We'll take out the old one. These guys are going to need connected in some way. I'm not 100 percent sure what way we're going to do this, but we'll figure it out. Uh, what have we got? So this this might not actually work. I might be getting a little bit carried away here, but I can do this. And this might be interesting. I can also do that, which is curious. This might not work. <laughs> this might not work, but I'm I'm going to give it a shot. So let me do this and let me do this. And that'll give me a bit of a connection. I could do one over there as well, but I'm going to I'm going to try this. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go to terminal or we'll go to infrastructure. We'll go to sidewalks and we'll do, I guess, a little something, something like this. I don't know how nicely this is going to behave, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then I think that's built down there. So what I can do is go and bulldoze this guy. And then I can put my my shuttle bus stops in there. I'm also going to need I need those uh, those cars as well, don't I? The service, not the service vehicles, the service cars. We need those too. That might be slightly tricky, but I think I can get them in here. I think I can get them in here. That's <laughs> that's that's the important part of that sentence is I think I can do that. I could put them there as well, actually. So I'll tell you what, let me go and just bulldoze this and let me go and bulldoze this. So we'll put them in those corners and that should be just fine. Now, when it comes to the buses themselves, what we'll do is airside shuttle bus stop one, two and three and four. We'll go and get ourselves a nice little service road here. So we want to go and say service road. Let's have just a regular one, the grass one for now. We'll bring it around like so. And I want to make it a one way road. So the service road is going to go this way and then that way and that way. So it kind of goes up and around. I don't know how nicely that's going to play because it does look like this is kind of connected here, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. This has been bulldozed as well. So we can go into infrastructure and get the service car stop, which is going to live there. And we'll get another one that lives right about there. And that should be fine. That should work out in theory. We've got these guys in here as well, which is great. And they are all connected, which is also great. So now all I need, I think, is a way for people to get over there. So if I go back into infrastructure and I go to crosswalk, I get a medium one. I want to say here and I want to say here. I don't know how nicely this is going to play, but we're going to figure that out. Um, that one in the middle might be completely unnecessary, to be quite honest with you. So let's just very quickly get rid of it. And yeah, we'll we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, so how do I? I actually don't need these up here, do I? Because if I remember right, this just connects to. Hold on a second. How do I? <laughs> how do I connect this? I don't remember for the life of me. Um, so connect baggage bay. I think I connect you. Yeah. OK, I, I'm, I'm sort of seeing what's going on here. Uh, so connect baggage bay there. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I think I can connect those out there. Um, I don't need these shuttle bus stops up here. I think what I've done, what I what I thought was that they need a bus stop. But no, the stop is on the the pad, if I remember right. So. What we need to do, I think, if I'm remembering this right, which I might not be, I think what we need is a desk. 
I think we need a boarding desk and I want self boarding gates is what I want. I want self boarding gates and I can't remember what way they face. I can't remember if the queue is with the arrow or where the queue happens to be. Uh, let me have a little look here because it's I don't know why I've forgotten that. So the arrows are pointing to where they're going. OK, so this arrows point to where they go. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four. And let's do one, two, three, four. Let me go and bulldoze this window and this window. And we're going to have to sort of change the layout here just a little bit to make this work the way I want it to. But I'm pretty sure this will be good. We can also, while we're waiting, get some seating into uh, into this middle space as well. So some seats right there and there. Maybe some seats right there and there as well. And we'll get those painted up while we're here as well. So a nice kind of dark blue. I don't think I can paint the boarding gates, which is fine. What I can do is just bring myself a nice little nice little wall across here. Give myself a nice sort of large door right at the end of the boarding gates, just like so. And then I want to bring some hedges down here. That's my thinking. So hedges down like like this. I don't love that it's boxing in the seats the way it is, but that's that's what we're going to do, because that way people can only go through there if they're going out to the the buses. So that should be good. That should work, I think. All right. So this has all been placed. Now we have the self boarding gates, which is fantastic. They're all connected to here. Well, these outside ones are connected to here and then up to those guys. These guys need service car stops as well. So this guy, I guess we need to say, is that the service car stop right there? It absolutely is. So you connect out that way. And then you right about here are going to connect out to there. And so now these can be opened. The only thing is we need service cars and we need buses. So purchase some vehicles. We're going to be wanting, I suppose, some service cars. I guess we also want the belt loaders as well. So let me go and grab two belt loaders while we're here. Let me get two service cars. Let me get two shuttle buses. And then all of those guys will hopefully get here. And it means all of this can be up and running in no time at all. In fact, I think I can probably just turn these on. And by the time the vehicles get here, everything should be fine. Now, the good news is we actually have got some leftover stops here. So if I wanted to, I can convert two more of these guys into shuttle bus or well remote stands, which I'm very tempted to do. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm very, very tempted to do that. It might actually be something that I go ahead and do, but we'll see. We'll, you know, leave it for the time being just to see how things go. I want to see how those stands actually work out and looking at it, they have nothing on them right now. And uh, hopefully that's something that goes away. Hopefully that's something that gets fixed a little bit of extra money would be nice. We are, however, up above a million dollars again, which is kind of a big deal. We've got baggage handling going pretty well around here. We've got some people coming over. Doesn't look like anyone's interested in getting their bags from there, but that's fair enough. We got people going through the shops, which is amazing news. And I suppose, let's see, wait for the scheduled flight to be serviced. Do we have scheduled flights on these remote stands? We do. All right. I mean, that's not bad. That is not bad. I'm actually I'm actually quite pleased about that. I'm also pleased that we seem to be making money. That's that's something that's got me quite happy as well. But I love that we have these little remote stands in here. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I was able to sort of convert some of this. And I was glad that this layout actually worked as well as it did. I was really not expecting it to work out the way it has here, but it's going uh, surprisingly well. It's it's definitely going surprisingly well. So we'll keep we'll keep this momentum going is what I'm thinking. We got baggage handling going on. Actually, we do have an alert for staff. We don't have enough ramp agents. We don't have enough janitors. Let's fix that. Let's absolutely fix that. So ramp agents hire you. I'm going to hire some that are less than ideal, I think, and just train them up because as it stands, we can't really afford to be too picky. So we'll go in here. We'll go to ramp agents and we'll sort by skill. And we'll just sort of train. We can just sort of train everybody, I guess. We kind of have the money to do it. So train every single one of you to not be terrible. And that's going to help us out quite nicely. And then janitors, same story. Train you up a little bit. Train you. And that seems fine. I, I think that'll be all right. We still have a shortage. We also have a shortage of service technicians, but we'll get there as time goes by. So let's have a look. Ramp agents. We'll take you. 
and we'll we'll just give it time that's that's kind of all we can really do is just give it time wait for the ramp agents to do their thing we're getting more efficient as as time goes on so no complaints from me although i will say i mean we're waiting on what the remote stands to kick in we should have a remote flight coming in here i think is this the remote one it absolutely is so now the passengers get on the bus then the bus goes back around, which is fantastic. So the bus comes down here, it cuts across, it goes ahead and lets people off of the bus right there, and they're stuck. <laughs> oh, well, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> all right, I think that might fix it. Yeah, there we go. So now they can leave. All right. Well, I mean, that could have been, that could have <laughs> been worse. All right, that definitely could have been worse. So. It's, uh, it's not all bad. I think, what are we waiting for this to, to pick up more people, I guess? Ah, uh, there we go. So now they're getting through. Only a couple at a time, but it's not, it's not all bad. Then we got the other bus coming back as well. We got the cars coming out. Is this guy doing all right? Yeah, it's just boarding that they're waiting on. Okay. I can, I can deal with that. That's, that's kind of cool, man. I'm really glad I've got this going. I'll be honest, I actually do want to just... I want to dismiss this aircraft is what I want to do. I want to dismiss this guy and I want to convert this over to be a remote stand as well. And same with you. Wait, that is the remote one. Same with uh, same with this guy. Get out of there. I'm taking over this stand. It's a remote one now. It's mine. Ooh. All right. We'll have a read of that in just a second. Let's convert you. That already is remote, isn't it? Wait, is there a plane? There's already a plane come in here. Hello? Okay. Whichever plane has just landed and thinks they're taking that stand they can they can go ahead and get out of here it's what they can do i don't know who thinks they're taking that stand but they they are they are sorely mistaken i actually genuinely have no idea where he is either is that is it that one nope where the hell is the plane that has this stand i can't while assigned aircraft exists in the world which aircraft it's the it's that one it's that little fella all right get out of here get out of here you I'm not, you're not refueling. You can take, I don't care if you have fuel, glide. That's, that's what you can do. There we go. So that's mine now. And so all I need to do is, I guess, connect you to that stand and connect you to that stand as well. And then similar story over here, connect this guy to that stand, connect this guy to that stand. And these guys probably also need to be uh, baggage handled while we're here. So connect those out like so. Service car stops. We can do this and we can do, I suppose, this as well. And now they're all running by the looks of it. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. We got a couple of commercial remote stands. We got four of them. So we got back the four commercial stands that we lost by building the two medium stands. They are remote now, but that's not the end of the world. It's hopefully going to be quite, quite functional. Hopefully. That's that's the goal, is that they're hopefully going to be quite functional. We also have just way too many people queuing up here. Good Lord. We might want to convert this to a bunch of uh, self-boarding gates as well, because then we can just have big old queues of people waiting to uh, waiting to get on this plane all at once. That really might be the way to go. The final step to have a complete airport involves building a large runway and large stands that can accept large aircraft. Large stands require passport controls for both arriving and departing passengers. The passport controls take passengers in and out of an international zone. Make sure you have the space required for bigger structures and another zone. So now we need to start looking into large aircraft. This is where things are admittedly gonna slow down a little bit. That's that's kind of just the reality of how this is gonna work. Things are going to, they're gonna take more time because we, we don't have the money nor the space right now for large aircraft. It's it's kind of that simple. We, we, we just sort of don't. Although what I'm thinking is I'm gonna increase the security alert right there just so that things are a little better for us. That way, hopefully, we'll have less dangerous stuff getting loaded onto uh, onto the aircraft here. But what we can also do, I think, now that we probably have got the improved security for conveyor belts, is yeah, we have we have these sort of tier two scanners. So my thinking here is that what I can do is delete this guy, 
and then anything that gets rejected from this main scanner here i'll sh uh, I, I mean i can just show you what i'm gonna do i guess i can just sort of go ahead and do it rather than talking about it and then constantly repeating myself as i go ahead and do it basically we have something rejected by the main scanner we don't necessarily know what's been rejected so we send the bag out into what is a an organics scanner we then send it out into a guns scanner we send it out to an explosives scanner a drug scanner and then well a money scanner as well what i think i'll actually do with this is uh we'll swing this around a little bit so we'll get rid of that one and we'll get the uh, the drug scanner right about there we'll get ourselves a bit of conveyor belt right about there so basically it goes out goes through all of those if it's okay it will rejoin the line right so if it goes through here this picks something up but none of these guys do rejoin the line if any of these guys pick something up we go ahead and destroy it basically the same as we were doing we just have a few <laughs> few extra steps in the uh, in the entire process there so long story short we'll go ahead and put this thing say there we'll go ahead and get some conveyor belts this isn't necessarily the most elegant solution uh to uh to security here but it'll work and that's about all i need it to do so that's that's kind of going to be the layout right there i don't know if these things actually need to be manned or not i'm kind of hoping they don't because if they do then i've ever so slightly screwed up and got a little space there they might not be able to get into but it should be fine it it should be it should be totally fine i'm also realizing i could have done this in potentially a more interesting looking way but I've done it this way now, so this is this is how we're going to deal with it. This should be fine. It, that should be totally fine. That should work. I don't remember if that is the most efficient way to do security, but it's how we're doing it. And so basically, this is what we're looking at here. Something comes through, it hits this scanner, and it'll go through all of these guys. This one, for example, was fine. This one, for example, was also fine, but you might have noticed some of them. They go through, they get hit. Maybe one of these pings something that shouldn't be there. We had one get destroyed. It's just an extra layer of security is all it is. So we'll get level three security at some point. But for now, I think the last thing I want to do today is actually look at upgrading security. So let's go ahead and demolish this wall. Let me demolish those stands as well. Let me get rid of these guys as well. And let me demolish this wall as well. Because my thinking is that the security zone needs to be a bit bigger. We have a lot of people coming and going. A lot of people coming through here. It's uh, it's it's pretty busy, and I think we can do a better job than we've been doing. So, my thinking is that uh, the security zones in the sides here can probably get changed just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and move sort of that bit out of there, cut that bit out of there. And what I want to do is go to security. I want to get some small security checkpoints. One, two. Oh, I can't fit as many in there as I'd like. So what we'll do is do three with the gaps in between so I can do some hedges in there and that'll be all right. I then want to, I guess, leave those be for a second because my thinking here is that as soon as those are built, I'm going to demolish these existing ones and I'm going to try and get some medium security checkpoints in there. That's, that's sort of the idea. That's my thinking is we get some medium security checkpoints in here. It'll handle more people. Just more security checkpoints in general will handle more people. So this should be good overall. It's just going to take a second because we have to build all of it, do the queues and all that good stuff. But there we go. We have some additional security. It requires additional staff to operate. Those will get running in no time at all. Let's just go ahead and bulldoze all of this. So all of this needs to go away. People can go through the security desks at the side. It's got, they've got no queues at the minute, but honestly, it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be totally fine. We'll just clear out this middle space, go to security. Let's get ourselves these medium checkpoints. And uh, you know what? Let's see where exactly those are going to go. Um, you know what I might do with these medium checkpoints, actually? I might push them right up to the edge there and see just how many of them I can get in here. So security checkpoints... So there would be one, there would be another, and then I think, so I think I can do three of these guys, which is fine by me. So let me clear this out of here. Security checkpoint, I want, I actually want to bring that down a little bit. So to here, 
I think is the spot we're looking for. And I'm thinking actually leaving a gap on either side might not be a bad idea either. So something like that will give me three of them. And what I can do is go and do a wall right here and a wall right here. And yes, that kind of isolates these guys, but that's honestly okay. We'll do sort of a nice large door there and there. We'll do a nice large door there and there. And then in between all of these guys, we can go ahead and do some hedges to make it look kind of kind of nice. So a hedge right there, a hedge right there. We'll do some hedges sort of down between these guys as well. So right about there and there. And then the queues just need to go on this and everything should be fine. So let's, oh boy, let's figure out what exactly this is going to look like. Uh, so these queues are going to come down to, honestly, probably there is is far enough so we'll just sort of snake these around a little bit we can actually go a little bit further with this one which i'm i'm kind of willing to do i'm willing to make it a little bit larger so that we do kind of use up all of this space we'll bring this guy over as well so we have a little bit more space being used there and that should be fine and then this guy is the same just sort of in the opposite direction so a little something something like that this one's similar story right over and just snake it back and forth like that and this one's exactly the same again, right over, snaking back and forth like that. And then in between them, obviously, we still want to get those hedges to make it nice and pretty like. So something like this should be fine. That's security still working, which is exactly what we want. And then for these guys, I mean, we can go kind of nuts with these if we really wanted to. And I'm, I'm kind of wanting to. So I'm just going to bring these cues way down here. I'm almost tempted to not take them as far as I'm taking them, though. How do I how do I get rid of a queue? I don't remember. I think I just yeah, it's control click the entire thing. Oh, man, it's always rough doing this. Uh, but what we'll do is. Oh, how do I want to do this? Actually, this might be better sort of being pushed over to the side like that and taking up a whole lot of that space, although. No, maybe not. Hold on a minute. Uh, I don't, I don't love the layout on this, but this is kind of how I'm going to do it. So that, like it goes over kind of awkwardly and I don't, I don't, I don't love that. I really, <laughs> really, I really don't love that actually. You know what? Let me, let me undo this and let me just do it properly. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. We'll just do a, um, we'll just do the usual snaking back and forth thing that we always do right down to, uh, to about there. Should be fine. And we'll do exactly the same thing here. Just uh, just snake it back and forth. A nice long queue for security. And the same on this one as well. A nice, uh, nice long queue back and forth. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy. Nothing over the top. That's going to be our security. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and get some hedges again. We'll bring them down through the middle. And... That seems fine to me. That seems like a decent little security setup. It does seem like we might need more security staff, which I'm totally here for. But before we do that, let me just go and do this line underneath the doors so things kind of look the part. And let me get the security floors to be... Honestly, I think these white tiles might be, might be the right call for security. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. So let's have a look at staff. We don't have enough security officers. That's to be expected. So we'll go and hire some security officers. We'll get you, 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 and you. And let's go to here, sort by security officer and train anybody that is, uh, that is not particularly good. So train all of you guys up a little bit. I don't think that's going to be enough security officers to cover everything, but it's a start. We'll hire you as well. We'll hire you. We'll hire you and we'll train Everyone that's kind of terrible is what we'll do. So try, get you as well, get you as well, and train, I guess, all of you until you are uh, roughly where I want you to be. So that should keep us pretty good. We have all of these security checkpoints running. That should make things a little bit quicker for airport security, which is exactly what we want. We want it to be nice and speedy. We want it to be nice and efficient. Hopefully people can get through. Hopefully the place is running. I mean, we're up to $1.2 million. So that tells me that we are in fact making money. And that's good because frankly, we really need to be. We uh, we need to build these large stands at some point. We also want to make sure that my stores are still running, which they all absolutely are. We might want to look into getting some cafes as well, which would be very exciting. I would, 
I would kind of like to get some cafes in here. But I think for now, I think we've done good. We've upgraded security. We've got remote stands. We've got so many people coming through. We're making money. This is good. This feels successful. I don't remember how successful or unsuccessful my last airports were, but this one feels like it's going pretty well. So that makes me particularly happy. And so I think we can go ahead and leave it there for today. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.